welcome back to class okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to create a pattern for a double-breasted neckline with a lapel collar so if you have watched my previous video you see that a double-breasted neckline is when your pattern is crossing over to the other side of your dart okay that is when you can call that garment or a jacket or whatever it is a double-breasted neckline okay so today i have a full front bodice okay a full skate bodice we are going to be drafting out a jacket with a double-breasted neckline with a lapel collar okay so the first thing you want to do you want to find your break point wherever you are drafting any kind of jacket that has a collar you need to first find your break point so break point means where your you want your collar to stop okay so anywhere is totally fine by you by me depends on the design that you're trying to create and when you're making this type of jacket your neckline shouldn't exceed 3 3.5 inches okay so i'm going to be using my waist here as my break point so the next thing i want to do from my waist is where i'm going to be adding my button stand okay so i'm going to add my button stand of one inch from my waist that's like so because I'm using my waist as my break point. Okay, so I'll take a straight ruler and I'll rule that all the way down to serve as my button stand. So this is what my button stand is going to look like. So I'll label here button stand, okay? So now because I'm using that part as my break point, I'm going to connect all the way from my neck point, which is my shoulder point, to my button stand so it's very possible that you're going to use your bust point as your break line it's also possible you can use your under bus you can bring in your under bus measurement if you want your collar to stop at your under bus but for this tutorial i'm using my waist as my break point okay and i already have my one inch button stand around here so the next thing i want to do is to bring out my collar shape okay i want to bring out the shape of my collar so I'm going to be drawing that out, but first I want to use my pencil. If I'm okay with the pattern and I'm okay with my, the shape of my collar, then I'm going to use my marker to make that bold for you guys to see. So I, wideness of my collar is totally my preference. So you can do any wideness you want, depends on the boldness you intend for your collar, okay? So I'm going to make my collar to be 3.5 inches wide, 3.5 okay so i can keep it at 3.5 i can keep it at 3 it all depends so from my shoulder down i'm going to move down by two inches like so i'm moving down by two inches the reason why i'm moving down by two inches so that i can be able to construct out the shape of my collar properly and preferably okay so you don't want your collar you don't want your collar to obstruct your shoulder over there so i'm going to be bringing out the shape of my collar so I'll bring out the shape of my collar by coming down from that part two inches over there. So then I'll use my pencil. I'll rule that out from, from the nape, from my neck point like so. I'll rule it down to meet that inches, okay? So I'm just to move away from my shoulder. So the next thing I want to do, I want to connect that shoulder. Remember, my collar width is 3.5. That is my choice, okay? Yours can be... And it can be bolder than that. It can also be smaller than that. So actually now I have a collar shape, okay? This is the shape I have for my collar, but I'm going to be using my marker to make it bolder. I think I'm okay and I'm fine with what I'm saying. So I'm just going to take my marker pen to connect this, okay? Let me use it so that you guys can see. Then I'll finish that up like so. So this is going to be the shape of my collar. This is very simple, guys. So, but now, because it's going to be a collar and it's going to be a lapel, it should be on the other side of my pattern, okay? So I'm going to be folding over on this line. I'm going to be folding over on this, my roll line, like I'll call here my roll line, okay? Which is also like my new neckline. So I'm just going to take my pattern, then I'll fold. You guys should just watch carefully what I'm trying to do around here. I'm just going to take my pattern from that part. I'm going to fold on that line. So 
I'm folding over on that line like so. This paper is really wide. <laughs> So, but I'm just going to do it carefully and I'll explain better so that you guys can understand what I'm trying to do here. Can you see? I've folded over on that line. Can you see what I have? I have to fold over on this line. I want to make it visible for you guys to see. Okay. That was the first line I made when I connected it to my button stand. Okay. So, I fold my pattern over. To the wrong side the reason why i'm doing that is because i want to trace out my color shape on my on the other paper okay i want to trace out this shape because this shape i drew here is just for me to see how my color is going to look okay it's going to be a lapel color so now i need to use my tracing wheel to trace it out so it can show up on the other side of my pattern this is really simple guys it looks tricky i know you guys might be wondering this is tricky it's not tricky it's not it's not hard it's just tricky i need to say <laughs> that looks tricky but it's not hard at all so when you watch closely and you pay attention you will understand what i'm trying to do okay so as you can see i'm only tracing on this inner line let me turn my pattern so as you can see i'm only tracing this line this color shape which i do okay I'm only tracing on that line and tracing on this line. Okay? So after tracing, I'm going to open this up like so. I'm going to open up. Can you guys see? So after opening up, you see I already have the shape out there. I'm just going to use my marker pen as well to follow the tracing. Let me use a black marker pen for this one so that you guys can see the difference. So then I'm just going to now connect, start connecting. So I can follow, I'm just following my tracing wheel. So this lapel uh, jacket is very, very beautiful guys. I'm going to be putting some pictures. So you guys can see how the end product will look, okay? So I've just used my black marker pen. Let me make this more visible. So I followed all my tracing wheel line to bring that out. And see, this is what we have, guys. So I really want you guys to pay more attention to this pattern. Just watch. And this is exactly what we have now at the end of the day. So the next thing that I'm going to do now, just watch closely. If you have any further questions, you can ask me. But I just want you guys to see. This color is not, I'm not going to be using this pattern because this is inside my bodies. I just traced this out so I could see how my pattern will look, okay? That is why I drew the shape of my pattern, my color inside of my bodies, okay? So I now use my tracing wheel to trace it out because I'm actually going to be needing it from the outside. So I'll cut through my button stand now. Then I'm now going to be cutting through this new line, this black color line, okay? So automatically... That's all. So I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to continue cutting. So I'll just cut, 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 and cut and see. So this is how I'm going to cut now. Perfect. And now we have made our lapel double-breasted collar. Can you see? So this is how it's going to fall. This is not my collar. This is how it's going to fall into my body. Okay. Can you guys see the reason why I have to trace out the shape here so that I can see how it's going to look when the collar is going to fall over on my body so you can see the reason why i moved away by 1.5 inch away because you don't want to trace your collar and your collar is touching your shoulder point okay that's the reason why i moved away guys so this is really beautiful and it's really nice i'm going to be putting up some pictures and we are good to go so you can also create a facing in my when i taught the rolling collar i showed us how to create a facing okay facing is very simple you are just going to move away two 
0.5 inches from your bottom stand and you come to your shoulder half of your shoulder you are going to take that down then you take a straight ruler and you connect those two lines together i'm going to be using a black marker pen for this okay let me use a black marker pen so you're just going to connect those two lines together that's for the facing okay because when you are making a jacket you need a facing is a must you have to have a facing inside of your jacket good so and from this my black line towards this side you already have your facing so you can use any color or any fabric of your choice depends on how how you really want it okay so this is my jacket and it's finished and we just succeeded in drafting a double-breasted neckline lapel collar jacket so i'm going to bring this further down and we're good to go so i hope you guys find so the back bodies will just be a normal back bodies so go and watch my rolling collar double-breasted neckline so you find that i are going to be doing the back okay i have a detailed video about making the back of a jacket but the neckline for the back should stay one inch deep okay so like i use 3.5 inch wide for the front i'm also going to be using 3.5 inches wide for the back as well but the back neck depth should stay one inch okay so i hope you guys find this video interesting i hope you've gained one or two things from this pattern so if you have any more questions you can ask me in the comment section and i'll be glad to answer every of your questions so i'll probably be seeing you guys in my next video bye